Hi friends, how waterproof a leather can be? Let's check it out together. See all dry leather? I'm gonna use it as a cup in the water cooler. And drink from it. Well, half of it come to me, but the leather looks pretty dry. While there are various ways to make leather waterproof, the best and reliable solution comes from the tanneries, leather that is tanned with waterproof recipes. Here's to illustrate the point further, we have a bucket of water making a pond using a leather that was made waterproof in the tannery. Just a quite a bit of water going in, hopefully you're holding it. And now, we're gonna take it back out and see what happens. Try to lift it from the side. Alright, let's see what happens. Did you see the water residues still on top? but it is still dry because you can see the the color didn't change this part where i pushed my finger really hard sucked the water a little bit with the force but the rest of it still resisting so some of you may think how is it possible leather is a porous material and usually sucks water it's done by using some chemical agents that are um, hydrophobic which is water afraid agents the fat liquors and fillers and things like that inside that's a complete um, set of chemicals used in waterproof leather tanning and those chemicals start acting against water as they react on the leather so here you see the waters as we come close you see the round shape so you see these little bubbles how they become like a bowl like a sphere this is happening because of the hydrophobic chemicals inside. They're pushing the water away. So the water tries to bowl itself up, trying to further itself from those chemicals that are afraid of water. The against principle is called hydrophilic, which is normally almost all the chemicals we use in tannery because it's easier. They suck water. They, they're not afraid of water. They just love it. They just blend with it right away it's almost like that oil water not blending situation because oil is hydrophobic here we can dump it away the water will travel freely onto a hydrophilic material napkin paper it sucks the water right away and our leather as you dump all the pieces is pretty dry you can tell because the color hasn't changed if it gets wet it's gonna get a lot darker than this but because it's very expensive and difficult to achieve in the tannery, normal leathers are not made this way. They're not waterproof, unless it's requested by the buyer, the purchaser, given the requirements. How is it helpful for the buyer if you're making a shoe, a boot that needs to be waterproof, like this leather, or this was actually an upholstery. In this case, if you're making a couch that you want it to be waterproof, protected for stains and, and liquids, then you request this from your tannery and the most reliable way of waterproofing is done there. But all the typical leathers that you buy for your crafting or you buy for using can be waterproof to a certain level using after party, after market products. We pick just one, there's hundreds of options available in the market. If you Google or Amazon search it, you'll find one. So. We're gonna try to show you how we apply this to a very typical um, full grain leather here. It's pretty naked, so it's pretty porous and absorbent. It's not waterproof, but we're gonna cut it in half and mark it to apply this waterproofing agent. Let's say this part is waterproof. Another part is control, the base. And we will spray it on, let it dry, and see how they're gonna react to water situations because this could be a typical use case for one of you having this portfolio and going around and let's say it start raining 
then you're not afraid of this getting wet a little bit because you apply some waterproofing and it's gonna protect it to a certain level. If not, then it can absorb the water and there might be some discoloration or watermarks or things like that may happen. So let's apply this um, solution we have here and see how it's gonna work. So we're experimenting with this aftermarket solution on a ruined portfolio from our workshop. Always test this third party applications in a discrete space before you apply all over in the main surfaces. If I were you, I would go inside somewhere that's not visible um, on the outer cover of the portfolio. But illustration purposes, we went all in because we don't know how the, the leather and its finish will react to the material that you're spraying on or, or applying on. So you might get very undesirable results or discolorations or, or ruining your product even. So always go for a discrete place test first and then apply if you really don't mind the changes happen after your application. Now we're gonna let it dry and see how the response is. So now this looks fairly dry and we're gonna go ahead and try to replicate a rain scenario where there is some sprinkles coming on your portfolio as you walk on the street and then how our water repellent solution is helping. This is what would happen if you let your portfolio under the rain a little bit, the water will slide out. And what you need to do is basically wipe it off as soon as you can. So wiping the excess water as quickly as you can will help protecting your product. And as you can see, between these two sides which got equally drizzled on this part didn't have as much absorption even though we applied only one layer of spray and this was very quick dry this side has more areas that absorb the water and it wasn't a large amount of water but still these can turn into water marks and some um, permanent marks on on your craft so this definitely improved the waterproofness of this leather which originally not waterproof. Not every product will work. Not every product will work the same. So you can try and test it for yourself. But again, go always for somewhere discreet. If you have a leather product that you want to waterproof because it may be subject to rain or, or some spillage and you don't want to ruin it. Hopefully this was helpful illustrating how waterproof leather can be and how waterproof you can make the leather afterwards when you buy it a regular leather if you like the video and you would like to watch more content like this please don't for forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you get notified every time i post new content thank you